Hi everybody, this is Roxy, and I had a request from my friend Lori Cass to do a tutorial on the We Are Memory Keepers tag, tab punch board. So just for an overview, you have, it comes with a, its own little cutter so that you can cut away the waste of your tab. It comes with a little peggy thing that fits in here. These holes are when you're making the side tabs. In other words, a tab on either side of your um, paper. And then these holes, so you put it in here. These holes are when you want to round the corners of your folder or your tab uh, paper. So these measurements over here are for the width of your paper if you're making um, uh, tabs in the middle of the paper. So in other words, a tab like this. I'm making some mini albums, so I want my tabs to be in the center of the paper. And then each measurement, so this is four, five, six, seven, eight, all the way to 12. Each one has a small, medium, and large cut line or score line so that you can put your paper up to that, whichever width tab you want to make. And then over here is again the small, medium, large tabs and I will show you how to do that. For measuring your paper, you want to measure the, um, the size you want and then allow three-fourths of an inch of that to be your tab. So for my pockets, I want these to be flush. You know, I'm going to have a ring binding down here. So, so if I wanted them to hang out, I need to measure this amount down to where the binding is going to be and add three-fourths of an inch for the tab. If I don't want them to hang out and want to be flush, I would only measure down to the binding and make my tab. So just add three-fourths of an inch, or allow for that, whichever way you're going to measure your page. So for a medium size um, tab, I'm just going to use a scrap of paper. So we'll measure the width of our paper is five inches. So I will align, I want to do a medium size tab on here. Well, I'll do a small size. So I'll measure, I'll align it up to five inches and the small line. Okay. Now I have to push on my hand because I have it's injured, so hang on. Oops, I gotta pull it over here. Ugh. This isn't as hard as I'm making it look. I just can't do it that way. So then you turn it over and align this up to the small lines here and I'm going to pull it over and do it again. Now yeah, it's not as hard. I just like I said I've got an injured hand so and I'm right-handed. So then you've got your centered tab and you pull up this little cutter. Line that up. This isn't straight. Just so you know. And then this has like a little tab and a cutter and you put that little tab right in there, cut it off, and cut it off. And don't put it on your table, put that back where it's supposed to be because you'll be looking for it later. So that's a centered one. And then for a left hand side, you just put it up to, we put this little peggy in the tab side, okay, and then make your punch, take that out, put it over there, and line this up to, we'll do a large, and then again, bring this back up, and cut that off. Okay, so here's the small, here is a, where did I put it, there, 
Here's the medium tab. And here's the large tab. And when you want to do the right hand side, you just start with your paper upside down. And then to, um, the only kind of odd part is the, um, trying to do the holes here, or I mean the corner, corner rounder on some of these, if there's, if it's smaller, you know, if the paper's not as wide. So there's that. And then, you know, if that was straight, I'd do the bottom. So I hope that helps. It's very simple. And again, I've got hand issues, so mine's pressing on it a little harder for me, but it's not that hard. So, and that's the other key, is just put your little cutter and your tab um, pegs back in their little houses because you will lose them and ask me how I know. So, um, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Bye.